Why does innovation thrive in the building of sandcastles? Well, I had a list of a whole series of things. Uh, number one, if you think about what happens when we build a sandcastle, hierarchy has disappeared. In most cases, there isn't a boss, there's not a reporting structure or anything else that can cause organizational sclerosis. People just pitch in and do what needs to be done. And this is a really good teamwork story. If only we could bring that type of creativity into the organization, because look, the lack of a hierarchy is implicit to most successful teams. Uh, that's the second thing, creativity is absolutely implicit in everything we do with sandcastle building. Hey, look, anyone can build a sandcastle, even me. There's no rules or preconceived notions other than some sand or water. The same type of thinking should drive corporate innovation efforts. Uh, look, you gotta make do with what you've got and what you can find and use creativity as your main asset. The third thing about uh, sandcastle building is it's going to fail. If it doesn't work the first time, do it again. It is inevitable that a rogue wave will destroy your work. That's what it's all about. This only encourage you, encourages you to fix the design and rebuild it all together. Try it again. Setbacks are meaningless when you're working on this type of project uh, and indeed are actually a part of the plan. Uh, the fourth reason why innovation thrives in the building of sandcastles is because Experience doesn't cloud insight. Uh, parents listen to kids and kids get bored and move on to another rampart and, and uh, do something else. Um, the key to Sandcastle building is really the combined insight of several different generations. And if you think about that in the corporate space, that's likely one of the most important foundations for success today because we have this unique generational thing that is happening as we bring generations together. The fifth reason is this, everyone picks up on the passion. Uh, you can be on a beach and you're building your sandcastle and people just join in. Uh, eventually beach neighbors will join in. You might get this massive project going and the growing castle becomes a big collaborative effort. Uh, look, if an organization can build a similar level of interest in the concept of innovation, uh, you've got something magical here. Uh, building sandcastles, feedback is instant. You know right away how your design works particularly if it's at the water's edge. Since everyone will make a comment as they walk by, everyone gives you feedback. Feedback is implicit. And this is critical to any creative or innovation effort you are pursuing. You need that feedback to continually enhance and evolve what you're doing. And you know, that parallels today's economy. Things are changing so fast. You've got to have a constant ear tuned to understand what your customers are telling you every single moment. That, another lesson from the building of sandcastles. Uh, here's another rule. Competition is easily scoped. You need new ideas, look down the beach, see what others are doing on the beach. You've got this feedback loop happening all around you. Want to learn about the competition? Spend a few minutes walking up and down the beach and check out the other sandcastles. Use that as a foundation for your creativity. Study their design, their assumptions and see how you can improve upon them. You get this iterative concept going that you're continually refining your design and doing magical things. If you can do the same thing in the corporate world, if you develop a finely tuned radar that signals to you how and where your world is changing, you've got some magic to, to get forward in the global economy. Here's another thing about sandcastle building that fuels your innovation efforts. And no idea is too dumb. Uh, there's not a lot of criticism and bias in the building of sandcastles. I mean, we're doing it with kids. We're not going to ruin their day with criticism. And the same holds true for adults. Any idea is welcomed. People can contribute the skills they've got. Everyone is a designer, a builder, an owner of the, the project. Somehow this combination just works. And if we can bring that level of thinking into a corporate project, uh, we've got something magical happening. Uh, here's another reason uh, that is, is occurring. The reward is clear. At the end of the day, a great sandcastle really provides a sense of accomplishment. Photos are taken. The team talks about the experience. They share the ideas. They talk about what has occurred and where they you know, had success. That's why every innovation effort needs to be celebrated, highlighted, and championed into the corporate record. I've long been a fan of corporate innovation award shows because I think they provide us uh, this same type of thinking where we reward those who are doing magical things. Last but not least, building sandcastles. I mean, look, it's just plain fun. If an organization approaches a difficult problem in the same way, with the same levels of enthusiasm and passion, 
uh, it's on to something magical. I, I wrote this blog post way back in 2006, Why Innovation Thrives in the Building of Sandcastles. It was picked up by Business Week. Uh, it helped to fuel my career because it helped to build my marketing uh, issue and profile and effort in a very magical way. All this for a blog post that came about as a result of some time spent on a beach building a sandcastle. Uh, always think about what you can do and what you can learn from what you are doing in the world around you because you might discover some really unique pathways and opportunities for innovation and creativity success. If you want to read the actual post, visit sandcastles.jimcarroll.com. I'm going to share it again later on today, put it up in a new blog post. You really want to read it because it's a good blog post uh, and it provides for certainly a very creative way of thinking about the future trends, innovation and creativity. That's it for now. A futurist Jim Carroll from the Virtual Broadcast Studio.